I'm not going to take any chances with Galera. I'm going to give her the army, and then I'm going to send him to here. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know Bloodlust. Uh, he doesn't know Summon Boat. Eventually, Galar, this other fella here, is going to teach everyone everything. Oh, man. Talk about cutting it fine. So... There's actually a couple of ways I can do it. I can come to here and engage. Uh, where's the best place to shake hands? Just trying to think the next few turns through because you really, I really want to be using this fella uh, to, you know, do his thing. Okay, that's probably wasteful because now I'm not going to be next to it. How can I move that far? A road's that good. I mean, finding out what this quest is, is so low value, I didn't need to do that, but totally not getting punished for it. The game's been very kind to me, like in terms of luck so far, in terms of my error of judgement, errors of judgement and stuff. <coughs> so it's really important when you've got a hero who is absolutely constrained to the absolute maximum of movement, do not accidentally tell her to do something that you don't want to do. So in terms of when you're meeting a new hero, Use the other guy to do the meeting. From looking at what it makes when you combine it together, it really doesn't um, do that much. The collar of Condry. He said with confidence. Uh, I don't like having just, yeah, you've got to do this and then uh, keep them apart just in case something bad happens. We run into an enemy hero that has magic arrow and a silver pegasus. You, you know what I mean? Like, you almost want to kind of do that to just really make sure that he can't be deleted from the game, which is what happens if you get sniped by another hero. Um, so you guys, if you've been watching Heroes 3, uh, uh, professional, clever people play it, they'll do this just to make sure that they can't be um, ambushed, essentially. I think all this logic holds up. The only slight annoying thing is that she's got all of her slots taken up with this crap, but we'll, we'll get rid of these two things uh, once she meets Alamo. Uh, okay, I just clicked out of that actually without even thinking. Now, pre preparing for this fight, the marksmen are going to sadly hurt. Uh, and what we want to do is... is it shift? Yeah. trying to work out the best way to do it. It might be something like this. When the marksmen attack you in melee, they're going to cause the same amount of damage regardless of how big your stack is. It's the question of how much you deal back in retaliation. But the catch is, my retaliation attacks don't matter as much as my alpha striking attacks. Um... And what would be far more of a disaster is if the marksmen are all spread out into seven groups and I don't have enough sprites to cover them all to stop them shooting. Um, so I think what I'm supposed to do is this. And I'm supposed to spread that out so that, yeah. Good luck, us. Awed by the forces. Awed by the power of my forces, begin to scatter. Do you wish to pursue and engage them? I'm actually half-minded to uh, say yes to this. So even though I lose ex experience, life's, you know, sometimes you've got to take the easy option, I reckon. Uh, so she can come down and get this. We'll see once and for all what it actually does. He wants to be educated. Uh, okay, this is the end of the week. We know that uh, each altar costs 1800 bucks to service. So tomorrow we'll have 7200 Half of that goes on water elementals. The other... How many of these do I get? 30 a week? What happens if I... Um, I can do something like... I, can I click a button here and it'll tell me... 30 per week, there it is. Uh, 30 per week at a cost of 30, so that's 900. 
Oh, hang on. How much is an ice elemental when she's at home? 375? Yeah, so they were 330, right? So it's an extra 45. So there's another 500 there in converting from water to ice. Uh, and then the air elementals cost 250. So that's 1250. So by my count, we will have exactly enough money to buy everything tomorrow. But not if we build something. Right, so, and this is the trap that it's, it's easy to fall into if you don't bother doing the maths, is that you build, say, the altar of fire, and then tomorrow comes, day one, you can't buy all your stuff, and you've got to leave a hero waiting around, da-da-da. Sometimes it's right to do that, but I don't care about fire elementals very much, like, and I certainly don't want to be building more troops than I can afford to purchase. Uh... In timely or in timely fashion, it's it's okay to be out of sync a little bit, and it's inevitable actually. One key thing is the mage guild. Actually, tomorrow, I'm going to want to be able to teach Alamar all the spells in the mage guild level two, and then have him gallop up to teach both of these, or to, certainly to teach Labelia, Labelia, Labitha. Uh, so there is that to think about. Okay. But in any case, I'm not building anything today. They were my imps. That was my stuff. Okay. What did we just learn? We learned that there's a hero in blue who it was strong enough to kill the imps, but not strong enough to kill these marksmen. Swordsman, by the way, is annoying, uh, although I don't know if anyone is going to be able to benefit from that. Just out of interest, let's just check again. Ah, uh, yeah, he was, he was, uh, he wasn't that, he was, yeah, no, there's no one who's a castle, yeah. So the swordsman growth doesn't, doesn't do anything. Um, what we've learned is there's a blue hero who was strong enough and there must be a portal down here or something, or an underground. He was strong enough to kill the imps, but not strong enough to kill the marksmen that are here. Um, that's fairly telling, uh, but I'm annoyed that we missed out on that little cache of goods there. Having said that, I'm really glad that we got all the stuff that's in this area. Let's find out what this thing actually is. Ridding the countryside of the hideous dragon who made a sport of eating at nights, you are honoured with a dragon wing tabard. What does the dragon wing tabard do, you may ask? It's good. Worn about the shoulders, which means it's got to go here. Increases knowledge and power by two, it's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. I think I want uh, Galar to have this, actually, because I feel like he's the guy who's going to be casting Ice Bolt. Um, stuff like that. This girl's going to be doing Town Portal and hopefully getting to Expert Earth Magic. She's going to have more access to artifacts. Like, for example, this is, I think, the Shield of the Yawning Dead. So if she's staying down here doing this work, and he's the explorer who might be going a long time between wins. Uh, I think I want him to have this, and I will... Anyway, before I figure out what they're doing, let's do this. Free elementals... I could do this, actually. <sighs> now, having said that, Alamar doesn't have much moves left anyway. He can get back to... to there? But that still might be really worth doing, because... Uh, that'll mean he can get that much further tomorrow. She's going to take on lots of basilisks. What is she doing with the army? That's the question, right? Um, what is she going to do with her army? Is she going to go for crusaders and basilisks, or is she going to go over here and try to bully... 
I see. The thing is, I'm saying that that hero wasn't strong enough to hit the marksman, but he might have just not bothered. The AI is funny sometimes. Do I want to go up against tons of marksmen? For a shield of the awning dead, I think it's plus two to defense. I definitely want to have a presence down here, a military presence now that Blue's shown its face. Uh, Alamar, do that. Mysticism actually is better than it looks. Um, instead of generating one a day, you generate two. If he's our explorer, then this could be good. Get that any time. I'll take the mysticism. I think it's okay. So, yeah, he'll be riding past a different well, so we don't, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, he's got to come to here first, and then she's going to go talk to him. Uh, and wish him the best. What about the shoulders? Look at that. The dragon's tabard. Well, how much does he need? Let's have a look. How much does he need? Go back to the surface world. Lots of familiars, and he needs some wood and some gold to get a ship. Um, I don't think the way summon boat works, it can create a boat out of nothing. It's got to be... Jesus, he doesn't know summon boat? How does he not know summon boat? I thought summon boat was getting taught. Uh, do you know summon boat? You do not. Oh, look. I'd rather not deal with the draft. So she knows Summon Boat and she has a scroll of Summon Boat. So give that to me. I'm sure she already knows it. Yeah. So she knows it without the scroll. Okay. Yeah. I think it's worth bothering to do this because it says already learned, but if you do this, it is not learned yet. So I think it's still, I think I still want to learn it because I don't want the faff, I want to faff around. Talking though about what Galair needs, you can't just send a man out on a boat with nothing at all in terms of troops, but he has an opportunity to pop back in here he can pick up um, maybe the air elementals could be his thing. Uh, the heroes are kind of all glued together. It doesn't really matter too much at this stage because Lobelia wants to attack the uh, Lobitha, wants to attack these. I could be insane trying to take on lots of basilisks. <laughs> By the way, that might be absolutely bonkers, I don't know. I think this is alright though. I think the air elementals are going to get turned into lightning elementals and they're going to go with Galair onto the boat. And that means this fellow on day one does this, does this, buys these, does this. Alright, let's have a look. What did we get? Ooh, yes! Ice Bolt's really, really solid too for someone who is going to be a water expert, which Galari is. Galair? Galair? What? How did I pronounce his name? Uh, I could buy all the air elementals, or is, I, I don't think I can afford them all, can I? Yeah. I think I might just leave them there and let Galar come and get them uh, on his way through. Um... See, the other thing I could do with Galera is I could send him here and here before he hops in the boat. What are you worried about, man? Jeez. Relax. Blue doesn't show its face. Interesting. What did I say? I said I wanted to let you have the air elementals. Alright, let's, let's go with that plan. 
Uh, what magic button do I push to glue them all back together again? Alt? Alt. Have the air elementals with my blessing. Let me give me her back though. You won't need these. Uh, now go. So I mustn't lose the opportunity to speak with Alamar. He is wise and, and noble and sage. I must urgently speak with you. I have discovered new wisdoms. I studied magic extensively, and I wish for you to know blind fortune, ice bolt, and weakness. I mean, weakness is a great water spell as well. In exchange, I must learn from you the secrets of summon boat. While we're here, shall we exchange creatures? And I think the answer is no, we aren't swapping any creatures. I just wanted to teach you the ways uh, and means. So I think this is a great opportunity to spend some money on Galair. His his combat ability is <laughs> questionable. Uh, he's going to visit the well as well. Oh, a bit of attack skill is the one you want. For a fee of a thousand gold, he can teach you a choice of new attack or defense skills. A battle scarred instructor will take the attack. Thank you. Alamar. Complete your journey. Are we ready to take on the basilisks? Maybe that was foolish of me knowing that I was going into this fight to give up that knowledge and power. I could have kept the cloak on, taken the knowledge and power, drunk from the well. That may have been a mistake. Now my knowledge and power is too less. And, uh,. Yeah, I'm going to be doing things like blind, which is really mana hungry. Um, uh, maybe that was a mistake. So now, Labitha learns all of the stuff. Okay, which is great. Take the soldiers. And... Go and fight lots of basilisk. I feel like an idiot now. What do you reckon? A oh, horde of halflings. Oh. <laughs> um, this will this this Knoll's flare is like plus four to attack. I can't. Oh man, I should have galloped up here before. There's a sulfur mine here. I could have taken. Oh, oh. a horde of halflings. Halflings aren't good, are they? I don't think they'll be spread into seven little packets either. <laughs> no, we can just take this. Yeah. Pathetic. Ah. Oh, look at them. Woeful. Woeful. So they're barely better than I am. Uh, but they can shoot and stuff, so... Uh, I can't get to them in one turn, so I will want, be wanting to either blind or somehow protect my girls. What does this do? Increased defense strength. Is that good? Or is it better to just kill 40? So I can kill 10 of them. Blind seems expensive. Um, I don't have to go back and visit the well. Yeah, speed 5 against speed 6, so these guys are going to ice elementals, these ladies, sorry. Going to deal about 100, goes down about 50 damage, so she's probably going to kill about 12, or you can blind. Both of them are the best way, one of those two. I think this is overkill, and maybe we be a little bit wasteful, but I think it's worth it to... 20 of them? Oh man, I'm no good at maths. So I lost four. It's not too bad. Cape of Conjuring ensures that they're not uh, learning to see anytime soon. 
I think we don't shoot because if you shoot they wake up and blindness is killed. Uh, nothing more satisfying than killing these halflings. A glorious victory once again, Labitha. Oh! Ooh, interesting. So she's already an earth mage. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I'm going to say no to the air. Normally I would auto-click air magic, but... This is plus four, right? A clumsy knoll has killed himself with his own flail. Knowing your superior skill with this weapon, yeah, right. You confidently remove the spectacular flail from the fallen creature. My left mouse button's not working. Okay, let's have a look here. How good is this thing? Is it plus two or plus four? Ooh. That's good. Very good. Got lots of Null Marauders here. We've got a horde of pixies. This almost feels too easy. I'm gonna get my cup up come up and Loins of Legion. Do you do we know if that's tier three? That would help a lot if it was, because ice elementals are kind of a thing for us. Don't know really. Uh, may as well send Alamar over here. That feels worthwhile. While Labitha's busy up there. Hopefully he doesn't get killed. Alright, biggest fight of the game. Coming up. Labitha. What have you got? Movement 5 is fantastic. Even if you get a morale, you can't get to me. Okay, so here's the thing, right? We're going to wait with both, obviously. Because they only have movement 5, it means even if morale flashes for them, they can't get to me this turn. Which just means, by waiting, we have absolute maximum option value or, or, or optionality around our decision making. Uh, so the first move there from the first guy was atrocious. He's not going to get to us for another whole turn, which is really, really bad for them. I think I've worked this out right. I might be wrong. Okay, but there's... You can almost see strategically, like, this guy hasn't come into the centre. If he had, this wouldn't work, I don't think. Um, so what I want to do here is... I can also blind as well, which is just going to be fantastic when, when we have time and inclination to do that. But this is why sprites are so good! Oh man, they are so good! The only thing that can really hurt us is if this guy gets a morale. This guy... One, two, three, four, five, yeah. I can, I can strike before he even has the chance. I should have blessed. That was a mistake. Yeah, I should have blessed. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, yeah. Because of my stupid... Well, did I? Because I would have blessed her. Maybe I ended up saving myself some... Some money, I don't know. Mana. Not mana. Twenty-nine level four creatures dead to a hundred level one creatures. Okay, yes, the ice elementals helped a bit too, but sprites are special. Sprites are really special. Man. Let's just get these loins. She's gotta go into the Colosseum anyway. Searching a ruin, you're amazed to find a piece of the Statue of Legion. You carefully dust it off before placing it in your backpack. Loins, let's hope it's tier three. Feels good. Four extra water elementals. Uh, so that's an item for Alamar or even someone like Alamar Jr., uh, a runner hero who's going to sit in the town. In fact, I'm almost obliged to hire someone to sit there now. Um, great. Great. Turn there. Probably won't see anyone. Okay. 
Um, should we take attack or defense? You enter the arena and face a pack of vicious lions. You handily defeat them to the wild cheers of the crowd, and impressed by your skill, the age trainer of gladiators agrees to train you, me, in a skill of your choice. Um, she got the null flail. So anyway, I'll do the more standard play if you like, and uh, and take that. Someone else will come in and get this sulfur in a moment. Probably Alamar, I imagine, on his way back. Um, I think I'm just getting these nulls now, or getting this uh, sulfur now. These armies are all very easy for us. Um, yeah, I do wish to pursue and engage them because it's free XP. Oh, okay, it's 26 of them. Well, this doesn't feel like I'm on expert. It feels like... Am I just ahead of schedule? I think I'm just ahead of schedule because of the sprites not taking any casualties at all. Oh, do I even need to bother? Oh, too good. Okay. Spells dealing more damage. Hmm. I know Ice Bolt. I might be inclined to use it. It goes 5, 10, 15, I think, to Expert Sorcery. It's not that much, really, is it? 5%? Whereas if I could get Expert Slow online, it's just better. Like, if I could get Expert Slow, Expert Earth, I mean, by which I can cast Slow and Slow every unit, uh, that's just really, really great. Alamar! I think, happy for you to go do this. Um, he's learnt much in his time ferrying troops around. I uh, probably have mentioned this before, spell powers grew very good. Knowledge would have been better. Eagle Eye, sadly, is, in the vanilla version of the game, uh, beyond useless. Um, I can't ever remember a time playing the game where Eagle Eye has... Maybe in the campaign or something it does every now and then trigger, but uh, yeah, wo woeful. Probably the worst of all of the secondary skills. Uh, I don't really want to invest in him up here. Um, uh, maybe I'll decide that after I've moved Galar. We've said wishing well, I think that's correct. This has already been visited. Oh, we wanted to go here too, though. We've done that, okay, right, right, right. We've done that, we've done that. Okay, we do this. I haven't learned intelligence with him yet. Do I want to do that? That's my fourth skill. Intelligence is solid. It's the wrong way round with the well. <laughs> Which is annoying. Uh, 25%, so I'll go to 75. There'll be 75 spell points missing if I don't bother going back and forward. Um, I, want, I, I want the intelligence. Could I be bothered doing this? Uh, has he got mysticism? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother, actually. I think I will invest in this, though. Might as well do that now, yeah. Okay, a tingle of magic fills the air. This school of mystical arts. An acolyte offers you to sign you up for the next class for a thousand gold. You will have your choice of increasing your knowledge or learning to better focus your powers. Um, this is the water mage. He's going to be doing ice bolt. Means I can cast multiple blinds. You know, recover better if I'm sailing around with my mysticism. I think I'm going to go for knowledge. Um... Now, does he need to visit? Can I build a third level? Not for a long time, like six gems is a long way off. Can we do it? Um, and should we? I think we should, and we, I, th I think we can, and we will. I'd love to get the Shackles of War, actually. Pack of Manticores, if I had some way, if I could be guaranteed that they showed up in two packets and I could blind one packet, and then kind of Lightning Elemental or somehow Ice Bolt the other one to death. Yeah, but it's a bit, a bit fanciful, I think. Um, not visited this week, but we'll visit it later. So we're out of movement points anyway. 
um, we're not getting any gems anytime soon. Uh, there's no way that she's going to give me gems. Maybe the campfire could give gems? Can it? Don't think so. Uh, if this gives me six gems tomorrow, I'm going to regret this, but um, pretty sure it doesn't. Now, I have Mercury up my sleeve because I've got this here, and I think I've got another one down here. So Mercury is my currency. I can make plenty of that over the, over the game, course of the game. Oh, <laughs> I very rarely make a trade of this such terrible um, odds, but I think it's worth it. Ooh, I missed that. They actually need two Mercury as well, so <clears throat> there's an opportunity to mess up there. Uh, so very cheap to upgrade, it feels. I can actually buy the whole lot today. May as well. Um, no melee penalty, but they're vulnerable to lightning. You would think actually they were resistant to lightning. I think the stats are the same though. 2 to 8 and 25. Uh, 9 goes to 10, but that's just because of his stats. Yeah, one and one. Okay. So they're just air elementals, but they can shoot. Um, and no melee penalty, so maybe I got ripped off there. I don't know. Do I want to do anything with the harpies? Run around here and explore? I can't really get in here and unlock anything. I can't walk past them. I'm going to make a hero out of this guy. Alamar. Yeah. Alright. Yes, that's okay. Okay, these pixies are going down. It feels sad, but I... Oh, I feel mean. They're even on my team. They're my people. I feel bad. Oh. Normally I prefer to be bad guys, you know, Inferno or whatever. But when I'm good, I'm good. Don't be gems. It is, look at that. Okay, well it's not gems, but it could have been. So I probably made a mistake. In fact, there's no probably about it. I definitely made a mistake. Because um, I could have unlocked that as well. I could have run over here, saved myself 10 mercury. Oh man, that's quite... That's a boo-boo. To forget that campfires give these resources, but it's these little little things that can change the outcome of the game. Um, Half-minded to go for experience here, I might just see what else I'm going to do first, follow through with my plan, attack, um, come on up around here, you're going to go visit there, okay, what else do you want to do before you set off? When we went for the city hall. Yeah, well we rush capital. We'll use this money here to rush the capital. Lots of walking dead will go down like sacks. Yep. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Don't feel like anyone here is guilty. Oh, this is just I'm sorry that these fights aren't more engaging. Um, they're not very, probably very fun to watch. Um, yeah. Right, wait, wait. These poor schmoes. Look at them. Um, will these guys die? Probably. I've got a whole other turn if they don't. Too easy. Um, yeah, she's actually out of moves, uh, so that's weird. It didn't feel like we had a lot of moves in that. Um, it's day four, so he can go for it now. Whenever I've cast weakness, I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to. I'm going to do this first. Do I want to bother the, with this? I can come this way. Uh, sure, why not? They, they want to actually fight me. Well, I'm going to do about 150 odd damage, which is going to kill tons of them. <laughs> How did you not scatter and flee? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? 
come across an ob obelisk made from a type of stone you've never seen before. Staring at it intently, the smooth surface suddenly changes to an inscription. The inscription is a piece of a lost ancient map. Quickly, you copy down the piece. And the inscription vanishes as abruptly as it, has appeared, as it had appeared. Let's have a look. Okay, it's this very top corner thing, and it's in the southeast of the world. I can always look at the video. <laughs> I think it's in the eastern, southeastern corner of the world. Um, don't know what that means. Underground? I'm not sure. Head back over here. Build nothing. End the turn. Alamar, what's it going to be? I think I'm going to take defense uh, for these wizards. He does this. Whatever this is, he can teach it to her. Haste. This is free plus one defense. The Marletto Tower. The soldiers living in the tower teach me a few new defensive tricks. So she's got a much more respectable stat line now. 5-4. Um, I feel like giving Alamar some experience. Uh, he hasn't got a little movement left though. Let's just do this. Thank god, no gems. Alright, so there's no punish. Uh, so I'm going to do this tomorrow. Um, which means I'll do this today. A pack of storm elementals. Um, Pack of Storm Elementals will be fast, and they will be shooting at me. They're probably immune to blind. Is it a better answer to do this and plant a stone skin on turn one? I, I Similar to the marks one, I'm just going to say no. I don't really want to lose soldiers. There is a vampire. Lots of vampire lords guarding a Pandora's box up there. That's a big deal. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Um, just give him all the things. Completely swap places and give him a bit of experience. I still like these guys spread out. Doesn't matter. I quite like Infernal Troglodytes. I think they're decent. Mm. Um. No morale. they make when they attack me. 56 dead for no loss, no spell point loss, 3, 3 and 36. Well, I don't think we could do much about that, really. Vampire Lords, are we doing this? Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, scary. Vampire Lords are scary. Oh hey, while we're here, take these off me. Yeah, you keep the lines. Um, I guess I don't have to decide about this till tomorrow. Alright, down here. Um, okay, let's just get this fight done. Shouldn't need any spell points here. I like. I don't like the fast combat animations. I think it uh, damages immersion. Might lose one here, mm, and or it might make me want to cast a spell. Twelve damage. That's half. So I'm down to eighteen and a half, guys. Uh, 
think I'm gonna live. Oh man, I thought he'd move faster than that, sorry. Oh, I can just shoot these guys. <laughs> it's like kill you, turn around. I'm not dying, I'm not dying. Making a habit of this. Uh, yeah, we'll buy the boat. Do this. Before we get on board, yeah. I don't even know if I am going to go. Well, I bought the boat without really knowing. Uh, yeah, let's just wait. Oh. Wait again. These guys are still going to miss out the next turn, so that's very good. La la la. Ah, so we are underground in the eastern reaches of the world. It's a teleport here, I think it's a two way. So we're happy enough to just land on here if he gets caught unawares. Oh well. <laughs> he should be able to flee um, with that, such a big stack. Get in the water. Still saving for the capital. I think it's fine. I don't need more, I don't need tons more troops at the moment. So, 